it going you guys new age here with a like this is one of those videos where it's like it's going in my miscellaneous playlist it's a fun tag sure. video yeah um it's one of those like tag ask questions kind of videos and brad aka u-turn crowbat um who i battled last week in the wpa that was a cool battle if you didn't see it, go check it out um <laughs> tagged me in one of those so I figured I'd bring Ace here with me and we'd answer some poker questions. It's pretty simple stuff, but fun to do either way. And I also had an idea of some people that I wanted to tag as well. So I thought, yeah, I'd be down for this. I have some people that I want to tag. Um, I know the whole point of this is to like tag people and then they do it too. But mostly I more felt like I'm tagging it just to bring attention to these people some more so like if you guys see this video you don't have to do this at all like I don't care it's cool but if I could help send some of my people your way that would be super cool um, and I feel like I might even start the video with this just because I feel it's more important to get the people to go check you guys out more so than my questions and such but I have two people who are smaller channels that upload like constantly and their content is really cool and then one person who is like bigger than I am but it's more so one of those like if you haven't heard of this person you gotta go check them out so first off there's my man Nina Mori fanboy um, he's part of I'm pretty sure he is though anyways, um, a league on Twitter called The Notorious Nine, but he also does his own like league battles and stuff and uploads like a lot of Wi-Fi battles and those kinds of things. Um, he has a really interesting voice, I'll say that much, but his videos are really cool and he always watches my stuff too, so definitely a shout out to him. Uh, next, Pterodactyl, Pterodactyl. It's always hard for me to say. Um, he uploads constantly too, and has like Wi-Fi battles, Let's Play, League battles, all that good stuff. Um, just a cool dude to check out for sure. Um, these are people who I'm not even so much in contact with, but maybe was at a certain point. But know like that their stuff is still good and that they're like consistently uploading and things like that. So that's really cool. And then last is Makati. He's like bigger than I am for sure, but it's like I said, one of those people like if you haven't heard of him, definitely go check him out. Uh, he mostly does showdown stuff. He started league stuff. I don't remember. I don't know if this league has been going on before this or not. I'm pretty sure it has, but it's a showdown league as well. He's more of like a showdown guy, but does a lot of like really competitive battles and stuff like that. Um, and also streams like a lot on YouTube. So. Those are the people I'm tagging. If you want to do this, you can. If not, it's cool. But for the people watching this video, definitely go check them out because their stuff is awesome. Um, and answer your questions below. Oh, yeah. And the questions will be down below and their links will be down below. Well, I'm saying viewers. Cool. Viewers? Yeah, if you guys yeah. want to answer the questions below too, that would be awesome. And then this is where I cut it. Okay, okay. All right. The question number one is what trainer class would you be if you was a trainer? I don't... I don't know. What are, what are the different trainer classes? <laughs> see? See? You didn't properly prepare me for this. Oh, you have to Google it? You don't no. wanna... You don't wanna just tell me? There's like millions and I... You can oh. look through them while I I mean... Answer. Oh. Well, I've always, I've always said ace trainer. See, so you know now. Oh, well, sorry. You should, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, Ace Trainer for me, obviously. Um, Ace Trainer? Yes. Okay, okay. Wow, do you have a problem with that? <laughs> no, it's just, that's like your name, so that's super that's, lame. Well, I like the Ace Trainer outfits already in every game, and then it just so happens to be my name. Yeah, you'd be Ace Trainer Ace. Yeah. Yeah, like that is pretty cool. Like our Pokemon store, sticker store name. Like our sticker store where we have 
hundreds it's like by sponsor. now, probably, <laughs> of Pokemon stickers. Click the annotation above to go check that out. On my face. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> all right. Yeah. And you're you're a fisher, right? You're the fisherman. No, I'm not a fisherman. Just because you think I look like the fisherman in all the games. Look at this face. How does this not look like the fisherman? Does not mean <laughs> that. Especially the last fisherman sprite. Looks just like you. That's true. Yeah. All right. Well, mine. I thought it'd be cool to do some kind of monotype thing. So I would say like gym leader or something. Wow. But I don't want that. That's too much work, too much responsibility. And then I wanted to say ace trainer as well. But ace trainers back in the day were also known as cool trainers. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to be all conceited like that. Because <laughs> I wanted to say that because I wanted a trainer that has like multiple options for Pokemon, not is not one that's stuck to like one type, like how you just said trainer monotype. classes are. Yeah. But that's just what I like in the like competitive scene and as far as like types of Pokemon. But if I were to choose say for example, my Pokemon team in real life will consist of my favorites, which are not all necessarily steel types. So I decided I'd want to go with the Pokemon Breeder because it's like the same class as Ace Trainer or Cool Trainer but without the hella conceited title. <laughs> so they just have like all kinds of different Pokemon. I just like the outfits. That's the only reason why I would want to do Ace Trainer. Yeah, Not. I can't afford that. It's well, too expensive. Like big jackets and stuff like see, that. See, I'm a great... Pokemon trainer, so I get money all the time. Oh. So I could afford it. I'm humble and just watch my Pokemon, like, have sex all the time. I'm a breeder. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Question number two. How many Pokemon would you have on your team? Well, I mean, they don't always... They don't always have like a full team though. Like, yeah, exactly. Trainers. So you have to not do six? No. The question is how many Pokemon would you have on your well, team? Well, I would want to say six because that's like how many you usually go through with the games and how many people are comfortable with. Then six. All right, six. Okay. And what about you, Mr. I'm only going to need like three Pokemon and I'm not going to be standard like everyone else and have six Pokemon. I was just going to say two at first, but then I knew there was a list somewhere that I had posted on Instagram of my actual, what my team would be and my favorites and stuff. And I was like, oh, I can't leave these guys out. Mm -hmm. So I decided on six also just because... I have favorites, and yeah, I can't see, limit yeah, that to just like, like two or something like I that. I couldn't do that either. Yeah. I would need all six, at least all six slots to be filled of my faves. Which is actually, the third question is why did you choose that many Pokemon? Mm -hmm. But we already answered that, so... Because we love too many, and mm -hmm. six is the most we can carry around. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, okay. Four, which Pokemon would be on your team? And why? Dang it, I knew this question was going to come up, and I didn't have time to prepare. And you have a list already, so I'm going to be sitting here just being like, uh So, you go first while I think about that. Alright, I'll go first. Okay, okay. So first off... Well, I'll answer the why after. I'll just say all the Pokemon. Alright? Kingdra, Blastoise, Dodrio, Volcarona, <laughs> Steelix, and who was, hmm, there's one that I was going to keep slash change. I think I'm going to go with Glalie as my last one. So all your babies. Kind of, yeah. Alright, so, first off, Kingdra, that is my favorite Pokemon and has been for so long. 
So that one's just like easy peasy. And also I want to say, um, your game isn't in there by the way. What? It's right here. Um, I want to say I'm big on like the sizes of Pokemon because the anime lies like nonstop and the sizes of Pokemon are not accurate. So I enjoy looking into like the heights and weights of Pokemon according to like their Pokedex entries and seeing what they really are because I'm like a full grown man so I don't want like a Tiny Pokemon that Pokemon. looks like it's gonna be big but it's like four feet tall because I'm like what even is this four thing? Four feet is a really big Pokemon still. It is a big Pokemon but not as big as I'm me. pretty sure Glalie is only like four feet. Hold up. We'll get to that. <laughs> so that's another reason why I chose Kingdra. Kingdra is like as big as I am. It's like 300 plus pounds. I could ride that thing in the ocean. It could take me down like thousands of feet into the ocean and we can get treasure and stuff. And then you like die from the pressure of all of the, the water. No, no, no. Be, no. Oh, never mind. Yeah, never mind. Whatever. Um, so then <laughs> second Blastoise been my favorite starter for so long too so that's just a starter kind of thing I love Blastoise so much Blastoise is like shorter than me but I don't really care so about sad. it in that sense that's just like I said that's my favorite starter so I can't help it um Steelix I want to say next because I've always loved Onyx I always told myself if steel Pokemon weren't around Rock types would be my favorite, and my channel would be called New Age Rock. New Age Rock. Um, <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Um, I know, that's the type of music. New Age Rock. Oh. New Age Rock. And I'd be all into rock and roll and stuff. But yeah. But yeah. <laughs> um, so, since Steel is a thing, but I still love Onyx, I equally love what Onyx evolves into and Steelix would just be so cool to have. I'd like hop on Steelix and be like, take me to the mountains. Or even fly around on my Steelix. Cause I used to have a Steelix that knew fly and it was awesome. And I just imagine a Steelix in real life would be kind of like chrome color. So you fly around in the sky and it's like reflecting the sunlight everywhere. Oh gosh. And it's basically like I'm riding on a second sun just blinding everyone as I go through the skies. Wow, so much for wanting to be a humble, <laughs> a humble breeder instead of like someone that's like cool and flashy. That like has nothing to do with my trip. attitude towards myself and how I see me. Uh, I'm, that's just how gonna, other I'm just going to be a second sun flying through the sky. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I chose Steelix. Oh my gosh, when was the last time you ever played my DS? I use it constantly, I just don't update Oh, okay, because it's like, oh, update, update, update. Also, speaking of flying, Dodrio, my next choice. I've always loved Dodrio too. Mm -hmm. It's hilarious, and Dodrio is adorable. Um, Dodrio, I was actually looking into the height and weight. Dodrio is pretty much as tall as I am, but weighs 187 pounds. Which, I weigh slightly more than that, so it'd be a little iffy as far as it carrying me around yeah. and us going to the skies together. You have a lot of Pokemon that you want to carry you around. I mean, it's like a bonding thing. It's like if you have a horse. The horse doesn't mind you riding it. It's like a fun thing. Yeah. I would assume. I'm just saying, if you have one Pokemon on your team that can carry you around, you don't need all five others. Kingdra carry can't around. carry me through the sky and Steelix can't swim me to the bottom of the ocean. You don't Duh. know that about Steelix. I mean I'm sure if I sent it out in the water it would just sink straight to the bottom in like two seconds but I don't think you would enjoy that. But anyways <laughs> another thing I found out about Dodrio when I looked it up was it actually has three sets of like lungs and I think three hearts too 
So apparently it has like crazy endurance, like it could just run forever that's on its like awesome. three lungs. So that's pretty cool too. And I know there was an episode in the anime where they did a race with Pokemon, and someone had a Dodrio, and it was just like booking it. It was really cool. I like I don't that remember. it only gets one extra lung and then two extra hearts. No, I said three lungs. Yeah. Well, three sets of lungs. Oh, three sets of lungs. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not... So then next, I chose Volcarona because it's beautiful. I just... Volcarona is just one of those Pokemon I'm like, oh my gosh. I love everything about this thing. And it's huge. And it is huge. It's also, like, about six feet tall. And it looks very fluffy. I just imagine I could, like, hug it. And then it would, like, hug me back with its little arm. (laughs) Be like... It's just like... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you didn't like that? Are you sure you want Volcarona? It was, it was grabbing you? too hard. <laughs> Felt like it could har- harm me. Like it was unnatural. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd want it to be a shiny Volcarona. Oh, you I'd don't want I'd spend my life them, looking for a shiny one. The normal Volcarona. The shiny one looks so elegant. I mean, they are, they're both awesome. But I like shiny one too. So yeah, Volcarona is more strictly a looks thing. I like it for its hot bod. Get it? It's a fire type. <laughs> and last, Glalie. I've always loved Glalie too. These are all just Pokemon that I've always loved. But Glalie, um, that would be like my Mega Pokemon too, by the way. Blastoise, you don't need the Mega, you're chillin'. Glalie just looks awesome. It's like an ice pack, man. I love it. And it's like super huge too. Let me see. I don't remember how tall. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Alright, Glalie is almost five feet. So it's just like a giant ball of ice. I have like a weird range of Pokemon, but I don't know. A lot of these basically just come down to they've always been my favorites. And some of them have more uses than others some of them are more just like hey this would be a cool pokemon to have and i think it floats too so maybe like i could take that to the skies too oh my gosh (laughs) or steelix is pretty big we could all just ride on steelix yeah people do that like all the time in the anime yeah i know it's really cool so have you decided why didn't you put maywile on there I love Steel Pokemon, and if I had to make a list of like my favorite Steel Pokemon, that'd be a whole nother story. But these are Pokemon that go dating before New Age Steel and the love of Steel types. So I had to bring back some old schoolness. This is so hard. Also, honorable mention, I feel like Evolution has to be on there. Favorite Evolution is Espeon. Always has been. It had a little bit of competition when Glaceon came around, but now that they made the 3D sprites and Glaceon's like hella fat, I don't like it. I know, Glaceon is kind of fat. Okay, obviously, first one would be Marowak, because Marowak has always been my favorite. Even when I was denied being able to watch or enjoy Pokemon as a child, I've always loved Marowak. We'll go through one day and do a video where we just watch all of the old episodes of the animes that have had Marowak in it. But I don't want to see the Mama Whack episode. That was in Origins. That was not in the actual Pokemon anime. They didn't bring it in the anime? No. Oh. Never mind. Okay, uh, Marowak, and then my second fave forever is Jolteon, which, oh. what? There's your evolution. I know, I, I feel bad putting evolution as my fave, but, like, it, it can't be helped. It's okay, I understand. It'll, it'll always be my fave. Um, dang, this is so hard. I'm, I'm putting it in my game so I can keep it under under six or keep it at six. 
That's okay. That's what like video editing is for. So I could make it seem shorter than oh, it actually is. My bad. I'm and you'll sorry. just see like random parts where I'll like be talking and then cut mid sentence and like everything will change. And they'll be like, did he just cut the video there? I'm pretty sure he did. And the answer is yes. So Marowak, Jolteon, Ampharos, Talonflame, Ninetales, and Noivern. I can see you with the Noivern. I love all of those Pokemon. And Gliscor is a very, very close one to... And then we go to the part where this is the end of the video instead of the beginning of the so video. So like we're taking was. this chunk and moving it to the front and we're skipping to this part and now we're ending the video. No, I already moved the chunk to the back, to the front. This is part of the back chunk. That's what I'm saying. Now we're in the back yeah. and the video is ending. But now. they can't know that because that's part of the video editing magic process. Unless you leave it in. Huh? Unless you leave it in. I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was like a chill, random discussion thing. Um, and leave a like if you did. Answer the questions below. And until then, I'm New Age Still. Keep on watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later. Bye.